What's up everyone, Lion Roar here, and we have a brand new Hero of the Month for October 2022 named Zelidana. So, of course, we're gonna break her down and give her a grade. But first, I have a free redeem code for you if you're a Gemstone Legends player along with me, Mr. Spock, Anchor, Archon, and so many other Empires and Puzzles players. Simply open up your Gemstone Legends game, click on the inbox, and in the lower right hand corner where the gold redeem button is, enter the code LOUD underscore ROAR to get a bunch of free rainbow dust. This is only going to work until October 15th. And of course, if you haven't downloaded the game yet, you can't get free stuff without downloading the game first. So use the link in the description of this video to get even more free stuff, including a free epic hero. All right, so Celadonna is a five-star holy hero of the cleric class, and that's a fine class, not one of the better ones, but it's okay. Um, there are a couple of passives here. Of course, there's going to be the 2022 family bonus after 2022 ends, it takes a little while for that to kick in, but that will be something that happens one day. Um, we do have one passive here, boost health on enemy special. So when an enemy casts their special skill, this character has a 50% chance to boost the character's health by 100. That's kind of interesting. Um, and again, these passives are getting more and more powerful as they release new heroes. So there's another one here, resist max health reduction. So this character has an innate resistance against max health reduction. Clearly, this is um, a health increase type of hero, uh, boosting it so that it is a lot harder to kill. We know this effect is very powerful uh, in the game right now. Uh, Celadonna has a relatively paltry 729 attack, but as we look at the special, it's not really the attack that matters all that much. 793 defense is all right, and HP at 1470 is all right. These are kind of average stats. Um, the special is Sacrament of Salvation, which is slow. I always hesitate to give a good grade to slow heroes unless they end the game. A slow hero should end the game to be really good because in this day and age, the matches are so fast by the time it goes off. Oftentimes, the game is already over anyway, so they need to just finish it off. So, Celadonna boosts health of the caster nearby allies by 800. Boosted health cannot exceed max HP. That's a good amount of boost, but man, we have a lot of heroes that boost everybody's health. She's only boosting three. That could be a problem. Especially in Empires and Puzzles, as you know how it plays out. If you punch a hole through one of the three, then she only affects two heroes out of the five. That really weakens what she does. Any of the heroes that only affect three heroes have a problem with that. She's going to have a problem with that. The caster and nearby allies get plus 50% defense as long as the caster has boosted health. This effect can't be dispelled. So, of course, there's a lot of ways to gain boosted health here. And perhaps there's a synergy with adding another hero that boosts health as well, but you really want the two heroes that boost health to be doing other things as well, so you're not just totally passively boosting health. Um, but I think there is room for that, potentially. Um, and then whenever the defenses increase, it it can't be get, you can't get rid of it. It, it can't be dispelled. So uh, it's going to make it a, incredibly hard to defeat Celadonna in that case, and of course the nearby allies as well. Um, then uh, down here we have uh, the caster and nearby allies resist max health reduction for five turns. Um, so she's resistant to that as well. You're going to have to kill her the old-fashioned way. And then finally, Elemental Link gives all holy allies immunity to new fiends for four turns. This effect cannot be dispelled. So of course that's going to incentivize stacking the holy heroes as with any Elemental uh, Link effect. All right, so what do I think about her? I don't love that she's slow. I don't love that the base stats are actually relatively lower for, you know, most of the heroes they're releasing right now. We know boosted health is powerful, but she only affects three. That's not great. Um, and there's just defense increase. So there's nothing proactive going on here. She's simply a support hero that is preventing um, the opponent from quickly being able to deal with this. The problem is she's not helping to win the battle either. You better, if you're going to use her, pair her with some really powerful damage or status effect heroes that can basically win the war on their own. Uh, another problem for Celadonna is for these like delay style specials, there's a lot more powerful heroes out there like Nullpod, for example. Um, 
so you know like nobody's really using yellow tanks anyway which is where she really fits in so that's where i would use her if i had her but i, I really wouldn't be able to use her that way because we don't no, nobody uses yellow tanks if you're in a newer or mid-tier alliance, maybe everybody uses a different color tank and you just go with the best of what you have. So I don't want like newer or mid-tier players to necessarily feel bad about getting Celadonna. Um, you can totally use her for that, but you're going to find that as you keep summoning, you're, you're going to quickly find heroes that are better than Celadonna for that purpose. And especially if you're in alliances that now start using the same color, it's really purple that is the strongest right now. Um, and this doesn't fit into that. I don't really see a great use for her on offense, but if you do, you probably want to put her in the middle of the formation, um, so at least she's affecting the allies next to her. I mean, you could put her left or right flank as well in offense, and that's fine, but um, it's just usually better to have a hero like this in the middle, because the middle is what really gets hammered the most by the opposing team. I don't know if you've noticed, depending on how you line up your heroes, but that middle hero takes the biggest bashing, especially when it comes to um, heroes that deal damage to three. Uh, like I've been talking about, that particular effect hits the middle hero a lot. Um, I don't really see much of a use taking her in events because all she does is slow things down. She's not really helping you to win. Tournaments, maybe, you know, if it's a very fast tournament, she could be difficult to deal with. But it depends on what other effects you have. Um, same thing for very fast wars, you know, maybe if you don't have any other like healer, or whatever for defense, uh, you could, could potentially consider her. But again, if everybody's using purple tanks, you're probably going to be putting her at a flank and then she's affecting the tank flank and wing on that side, whichever side you put her on. Uh, and um, that's not the whole team. There's heroes like this that affect the whole team. You would only use her if you don't have one of those heroes, I think. So, I'm not real high on Celadonna. I think this is probably one of the worst heroes of the month that they've released in a long time. I think they're probably going to have to buff her at some point. So, if you get her, don't just trash her. You know Empires and Puzzles. They'll probably swing around and make some change at some point in the future. So, hold on to her. Or just use her for, like, you know, fodder for hero academy or something like that <laughs> anyway um those are my thoughts for that reason i'm gonna give her a d um she's not completely useless uh she she serves some use at some points but she's not exciting either and maybe this grade will change if they buff her at some point but let me know what you think in the comments if you got her uh if you've tested her out if you disagree with me i love to know that kind of stuff too and if you haven't already make sure to like and subscribe and i will catch you in the next one